Hi, this is Alon Weinberger from Evolve Traffic Solutions. Today I want to talk about the benefits of microsimulation models of complete streets. Complete streets are designed for all users like pedestrians, cyclists, cars, and transit. We see more and more corridors in North America being converted to complete streets. These type of streets typically reduce the traffic volume and speed that were present before the street was converted, but they also increase what we call friction among road users. This model shows a complete street design that was implemented on Vancouver Island. We have a two-lane road, one-way bike lanes, as well as parking on both sides of the street which is accessible through the bike lanes. The road does not have any left turn bays. Other street designs not shown here may have two-way bike lanes, transit stops, mid-block crosswalks, loading, etc., which adds more complexity to the design. All this friction between cars and cyclists, cars and pedestrians, cyclists and pedestrians, parked cars and cyclists, etc., can potentially cause traffic capacity issues on that corridor, which should be ideally flagged during the design stage. A microsimulation model like the one you see here is a great tool to test one or more design concepts and determine which is the best design. Also, you can make the model come to life with 3D features, which makes it a very good communication tool for public consultations. If you'd like to get more information, please send me an email to info at evolvetraffic.com.